But so at the top of this tower is um, not just the clocks, but there's some bells as well. And, and, and the clock tower itself was actually um, built by the same people that made Big Ben. Uh, when Graham bought this place, um, everything was painted blue, like hospitals were at the time. But most of the original features were still there beneath all that blue. So um, all the blue was taken off. So these bricks were there before, and he's done it all in the style of the period properties of, of that time, when it was built in 1890. And these beams here are actually functional, unlike some houses where they put them up for show. They actually do support the ceiling. A lot of these pieces are sort of period pieces of, of the time when the property was actually um, built. We haven't fired the cannon in anger recently, only when people misbehave at parties. <laughs> and if they really misbehave, we have the sword. <laughs> These beams here do actually support the roof, whereas in a lot of properties they're added for effect, so they are actually functional as well as aesthetic. Again, another big room if you want to make noise. So all the fireplaces were originally bricked up when it was the hospital, but um, they've all been uncovered and so, so they're functional if you wish to use them. So was this room blue as well? Every, every room was every blue. Room. Oh. Every room was blue. <laughs> it's very pretty. So that sword were a magic wand. It's the bubbles, is it? Oh, right, okay. Right, okay. Anything else with you? You just end up with lots of cupboards if you took them out, really. So, um, if you'd like to come through here and you look up top, you'll see um, that was added too. I mean, all, the, all these features were put in when it was um, turned back into a home, basically. Not hospital blue. <laughs> Any, anybody who's um, fit and doesn't mind stairs, then I'll take you up to the um, tower where the, um, the clock is. Right, this, this is the mechanism that drives the clock. It does actually work and um, is the correct time. And it's on the two faces. At night it can be lit up with these bulbs. There were originally six bells in here, but they've been um, taken out and um, local churches have had them. Several of them went to uh, a church in French, eh? and one of the churches on Bradley Stoke, Christ the King, had one of the bells when it was refitted. I think it was felt that they were wasted here because they weren't really being used, and um, they were quite sizable ones and um, quite expensive. So rather than have them sit here gathering dust, um, they went to places that wanted them, which I think they were quite pleased to get for. For nothing. And where were they hung? They were operated from these yes. bars, were they? Yes. Yeah. 
So what, what does the, is it driven ultimately by, ele by electric motor there, or is that to here? Well, there's a, there's a timing um, box on the side with um, the time on, which yeah. keeps it um, regular. But the actual mechanism is functional. The pendulum does actually swing yeah. and, and, and it does work mechanically. And now, now I'm studying, I remember it's Pops that made the... Because um, it's, it's on the plug. Yeah. I've forgotten the name. I've forgotten the name. The but apparently they're the same people that um, did Big Ben. So, if you'd like to um, let another half dozen or so mm. come up, then yeah. uh, I'll go down then. I'll probably ought to swap places. Yeah. Sorry? It must be interesting when the plumber comes. <laughs> and um, they didn't use the, the main stairs. was meant to be like a focal point. I don't know why they did it at an angle rather than straight, but apparently it was purposely planned that way. So, uh, But this is the old sort of panelling that would have been in houses of that, that age. This was all added when Graham bought the place, because again, this was all blue as well. And the fireplace was bricked up, and so everything's been yeah. taken back to how it would have been. Pantries, which houses don't have these days, you know. So. These, these are all uh, examples of old packaging and things that Graham's collected to uh, remind people of things what were like years ago. Before everything was plastic. Yeah, that's his packaging collection from uh, yesteryear. Have you seen the secret room? It's a secret room here. <gasps> Don't know it's there. It's been designed that way on purpose. There's a little spiral there. So. 
There's the, the old fashioned laundry room in there. This is what Graham calls a Polynesian room. Um, he's got a friend who works in the film industry who does some um, backdrops. Yeah. And um, he's painted this from workshop. Apparently, this used to be the nursery. Because in days gone by, they used to separate the babies from the mothers and take them away and leave the mothers to rest for um, however long. And all the babies used to be kept in here, away from the mums. Yeah, now they keep them with you and so Yes. Sorry. Yeah, well, now they keep them with you for safety so nobody yeah. wanders out the ward with one. You're tired. Yeah, yeah. But they used to keep you in 10 days then, didn't they? Yes, they know. I mean, yeah. This is a, another bit of yeah, Graham's collection they, of speakers and things here. Yeah, where they used to look through into the ba babies. This was here, yes. Yeah. 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 So, the bedroom. Uh, this, this was the birthing room in here. And um, it's a very yellow bathroom. Because then it's like Kellogg's cornflakes. Up in the morning, cold shower, murder. Two, two, two. Oh.